really what a lot of people are feeling here, and that is shock. Shock by this verdict. Going into the courthouse today, talking to the defense lawyers, talking to the family members of the defendants, they were hoping that uh, there would be uh, there would be an acquittal. But uh, talking to uh, uh, Peter Greste's brother, Mike, this is what he had to say. We're at a bit of a loss for words at the moment, Ian. Um, perplexed, flummoxed, disappointed. Um, you know, it's it's beyond our comprehension, really. We're just struggling to. Um, pick ourselves off the mat but um, you know we're we're determined to continue to, to fight for Peter's um, innocence and uh, we'll have to decide where we go to from here. And that was me interviewing him outside the courthouse just a little bit earlier today. One of the things that really has come into question is the evidence. The evidence the prosecution brought forth they said ties these journalists to their charges of aiding a terrorist organization as well as spreading false news and I want to give you a sense of what the evidence they presented was one of them was footage of a trotting horse that was aired by Sky News Arabia a BBC podcast as well as a documentary from the BBC all of this was presented as evidence in the trial against these journalists even though it really has and actually has nothing to do about them now looking forward what are their options they can appeal this they're likely to appeal it but in Egypt the appeal process takes a long time months if not over a year there's also the other option of a presidential pardon, although we haven't heard anything from the president's office yet. So, so Brian, why is this happening? Al Jazeera says these men were just reporting the news and they're paying a price for it in Egypt. They sure do seem to be pawns in a geopolitical game that's happening between Egypt and Qatar. Al Jazeera is funded by Qatar, and Qatar is perceived to be supportive of the Muslim Brotherhood, which is the group that is banned in Egypt, a group that is classified as a terrorist group in Egypt. Uh, only a few days after that ban came into effect in December, these men were arrested in their hotel where they were working on stories, just like many other journalists. They were taken away to prison. Uh, when I asked the parents of Peter Gresti, the other day if they thought their son was a political prisoner they said that was a fair phrase that they feel that he's been kidnapped by Egypt and as we learned today he unfortunately may be there a while longer